the term citizen science is kind of, it feels like a made up thing and is, is suspect to me anyway. Mm. And I think that there may be this assumption that everything is, well first of all science, as we know it isn't really very old in the age of human experience and so perhaps we should be a little more patient about that. Um, but also I think there's great reason to be optimistic about people doing things. It's just not happening maybe where you expect it. There's, I know there's a um, biologist working up in Oregon or Washington and she's working in, in prisons with prisoners to do mycology and observations and investigations because these gentlemen have to spend a great deal of time in isolation or in, in this incarcerated condition and, uh, and so they, they make great observers of, Michael, of mushroom, of fungi change. And in fact, as a result of things like that, these, one of these people I understand is now going on to get, you know, going through the, the typical academic world of, of getting, you know, at least a bachelor's in, in biology. There's another group of people who are, uh, I think recording certain kinds of the change in the biological climate change in, in uh, a rare plant up in the Oregon forest and that's because there are people that usually hunt them or, or collect them to, uh, to sell illegally but certain biologists know that they have a very specific and strong knowledge and so now there are these kinds of collaborations yeah. and they're beginning to ask questions now. Right. I mean that's, yeah. it's, it's got to go from sort of scientists deciding what the important question is and this sort of idea that I heard of trickle down to something more osmotic maybe, yeah. I don't know.